Okay, if you listen really closely, you can hear the kids singing. Sierra, her old darling, um, what was, not just for you, no, but just for us in general, what was the, the transition like going from one to two kids? Well, for you. Not that bad, because Paisley's freaking gravy. Yeah, Paisley so is like, just <laughs> gravy, she said gravy. Paisley's like this really, back. yeah, Paisley, okay. okay, first of all, <laughs> Paisley's helping me, here, turn that down a little, Carson is a really active, never napped well, always, I love yes, exactly, like Violet, wow, um, really high energy kid. So Paisley came along and we were like preparing for another Carson because that's just what we knew. Paisley came out and slept seven hours a day all through the night and was just like mm, one of a kind. Um, she still is really easy. Um, so we got really lucky, very lucky. And our transition from one to two kids was so easy that it convinced us to have a third. <laughs> and Violet... Violet's crazy. <laughs> and I mean that in the most loving way. Violet, um... She's like her brother. <laughs> Very busy. So... How's that, like... We just... Between Carson and Violet, we just always, I'm gonna try to get us both in here. Uh, not really with the way I'm recording. But, we just always have to be on our toes with them. Like, Violet's always into something, tearing something up, crying about something, throwing a fit about something, trying to, you know, just do something into everything all the time. She didn't have time for naps. She didn't have time for, she, you know, as soon as her eyes pop up open in the morning, she is ready to go. Um, I can't think of the correct parenting need for it, or, uh, spirited. Yeah. So, the transition from two to three, you know, I don't think it would have been bad. It just, it really just depends on your baby's personality and that's something that you can't guess. So, you can't predict or plan for that. So, my advice would be just to plan for extreme. Maybe you'll get lucky. And not have extreme, but if you are, then, then it'll be okay. Carson, it's okay. Leave her alone. All hush, ma. Um, that is also another thing when you get, yeah. they get multiple kids, they just, uh, the tattling, we're in the stage of tattling, and that's exhausting, <sighs> that's exhausting. Yes, you're still going to go that way. We're nowhere near there. <laughs> Gosh. Um, anyway, so yeah, as far as integrating a fourth, I don't know. This is our fourth right now. Where is she? There she is. She is our fourth. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Number four just seems like a lot right now. Um, and it's weird, honestly, to be at this place in our life and our family because... We've always known, like, we would have kids, so it was real easy to just say, okay, let's have another one, okay, let's have another one, okay, let's have another one. And now that we really can't say that, it's like, it's kind of odd to be like, 
no, we really can't right now. It's almost like we've never had any any reason to say no before. Wait a minute. And so now that we do, it's kind of different. But anyway, that's just for us and our experience. And really, I mean, it's not bad. It is it is what you make it. Um, you just have to be ready to, can y'all even hear me? <laughs> With all the kids talking in the car. Uh, you just have to be willing to adapt to it. And yeah, so... Anyway, I hope that answers your question and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.